Hey, my you ladies and my you gents, I'm Stephen Tosher, and on today's episode of our Thoughtful Thursdays, we're going to be talking about what BMI is, why I don't really like the BMI, and we're going to play a quick game to reinforce that. So what is BMI? Well, BMI stands for Body Mass Index. Now, this is a chart made a long time ago that was able to categorize how healthy you were. Now, back in the day when I guess people were walking a lot more, there were people who were working on the farms and in different places, especially in North America, you know, the chart might have worked out a little bit easier because there was a higher activity rate. There wasn't so much junk food out there. And, you know, people probably didn't eat the portions that we eat these days, right? So I'm not saying that the BMI is complete garbage or anything like that. You know, it's been proven for many years to get people motivated and start moving in the right direction. The real issue I have with the BMI, though, is that as people also work out or athletes gain muscle or like myself, when I was 280 pounds at two different points in my life, it would tell me that I was morbidly obese. Now, when I was gaining lots of muscle and was 280 pounds, of course, I was extremely overweight. And the BMI scale was one of those things that actually helped me kind of get myself back on track. But as we play this game in a moment, you're going to see that, you know, if you want to really start looking into your health, the BMI scale might not be the best thing for you aside from maybe a tool that you can kind of just look at yourself at or through. All right, so in this little game, I'm just going to talk about four different people. Two of them are performers and two of them are very famous athletes. And I'm just going to say the numbers, say where they are, and based off of the black outlined picture, can you guess who they are as I'm going through them? So the first person in our game is a very tall man who's around six foot eight, 260 pounds, and comes in at 28 on the BMI scale. Can you guess who it is? This person is the most world-renowned basketball player at the moment, LeBron James. A mountain of muscle and a man who could definitely play two great sports is considered almost obese, if you can believe that. And that's again because the BMI scale is all about averages. Alright, so let's move to our next person who is a celebrity. This person is only around 5 foot 1, 110 to 120 pounds. She struggled with some weight at times, but her average BMI is 16. Now remember, females are a little bit different because they hold fat a little bit differently than men. However, she's at 16 and she looks fairly thin. Can you guess who it is? Well, it's Nicole Richie, if you can believe that. Now she's at 16, she probably does work out, but she's not as intense of an athlete, and she still ranks, you know, on a fairly good average for the BMI but you know a lot of people may or may not consider her a healthy person now let's look at the next lady in our game she's six foot two 160 pounds and her BMI on the scale is 17 only one more than Nicole Richie but she is a professional athlete with a completely different body type holding muscle in different places can you guess who it is it's Maria Sharapova. Maria Sharapova, very, very famous tennis player, very, very tall woman, and she almost has the same BMI, but obviously a completely different body type than Nicole Richie. Finally, the last person in our game is a very famous actor who's been in many action films. He's five foot eight, around 180 pounds, and his BMI would suggest that he's around obese at around 30 on the scale. Can you guess who it is? Well, it's Sylvester Stallone, if you can believe it. Sylvester Stallone is almost in his 60s and still in fantastic shape. However, the BMI scale would suggest that he is overweight. So as you can see, this scale is very all over the place. You have tall, extremely good athletes. You have obviously people like myself who are very overweight and went as high as around 40 to 45 percent on the scale. You have people who are very thin who match up almost the same uh, with someone who's about a foot in difference with a completely different body type as well. So at the end of the day, don't get discouraged by the weight that you're at and what you're trying to accomplish. Don't get discouraged by the different scales that they have out there, especially with something like the BMI, because it is just 
all about averages. And the average person is going to be completely different than you because of how you live, what you do, what you eat. So don't let that stuff bog you down. The BMI scale is just that. It's a scale. It doesn't determine how healthy you are. It doesn't determine what you should be like. It also doesn't determine your activity rate. So let a doctor or professional or your own research determine that as well as how you feel is usually one of the best ways to be able to monitor how you are. I hope this helped. You know, if you think I'm totally uh, off into left field, drop me a comment in the comment section below. If you want to check out the website or the blog or anything that pertains to this video, check it out in the description. I just want to say again, I'm not a professional or a doctor. I just want to encourage you. And I hope that this kind of a video will make you understand that everyone is completely different. Have yourself a wonderful day, evening, morning, or night. God bless. Oh yeah, and if you like what I'm doing, please... Tweet! Tumble! Like! Share! Thumbs up! Plus! Pin! Or do whatever you do, and please, subscribe!